Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of three Steam games never heard of. It's real simple. I play through the games you've never heard of. You decide if they're good or not. Let's begin. First up on the list, this comes to me from Dan Worm, suggested it in chat. He says, I should play House on the Hill. I got House on the Hill. We're gonna play it. It came out at the end of July, cost $7. Says that it's a scary game. Probably won't even scream a single time. It's probably not that scary. Let's find out. Okay, so I, I probably cut out a great deal of the tutorial because it did take uh, a, a couple minutes. Basically, they just tell you how to walk around. And I guess we're gonna break into this house and this guy is... So I guess all we gotta do, and it's no problem, is break into this really spooky house. Cut which wire? The one that looks bluish. Blue wire! That, Blue. that was wrong. Cut it. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Good. Fine. I checked the line. You got it. No signal to the police. I just want Come him on. to know that there was not a blue wire in this box. It was purple, white, green, and yellow. I mean, uh, listen. Look at the right. There's a light behind the door. We should probably go there. Should we though? I'm kind of feeling like, hey, by the way, there's a fire going. Has anyone thought that uh, that's a little bit strange considering this house is supposed to be empty right now? What is this door? Yeah, no, I'll probably pass on that one. Like I said, this isn't even isn't even the slightest bit scary. Not even the slightest bit worried about this game at all. I don't like this. Yeah, the owner probably forgot to clean before leaving. Move. Oh. Must hurry. That is just a pile of intestines. Who exactly lived here? Was it Dracula? <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Good. Study. Yeah, we'll we're just gonna find the study. This looks like a study. What about this? That's locked. Hey, you know what? This could be a study. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I got a key. And some, uh... Didn't even, didn't even scare me a little tiny bit. Was not even slightly worried or concerned that something bad was going to happen. I've played plenty of horror games before. Doesn't even phase me. Oh good, a videotape. I was hoping, I was hoping to make this even worse. So it's good that, uh... Okay. Oh! <gasps> Hold on, what was that? I couldn't even see it! I don't, I don't know why that was supposed to be spooky. <sighs> That is hilariously inappropriate. Seven, four, three, one. Nice. I'm a genius. Tactically, puzzling, riddles, stand back. My genius knows no bounds. What do we got? A big ass diamond. Okay, well that's mine. I gotta turn around now. The door is suspiciously open. Not scared. Not even slightest bit scared. Not even a little tiny bit scared. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna just let me out. What? I'm stuck What's in here. Happening? They Hold your breath and look for a way out. What do you mean look for a way out? There's no other door. <gasps> what? Come what? On. There must be another way out. Uh <laughs> Oh, we can there's a secret door behind this. Why are they pumping it? There's obviously someone here because they just slammed a door on me. <clears throat> what? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Is everything okay? No. Did you get it? Nothing is okay. No gas here. Good. What was that? There's someone walking around. Just gonna level with you. I'm obviously not scared to go down the basement in the door. Okay? I am just waiting for you guys to catch up. I, never thought it looked like this. I was just waiting for you guys to catch up to make sure that you guys weren't worried. You know, just in case you guys needed to take a breath or whatever. Fine. It's a room full of, it's a room full of meat. It's a room full of meat. 
Yeah, no, this is this is fine. This is absolutely 100% A-OK. Okay? Oh, take out the fuse. Oh, really? You know this is not, this is not a good idea. I don't have to explain to you guys why this is not a good idea. We should leave. We should have left after we saw that dude slam the door on us in a house that was supposed to be empty. By the way, his face was all messed up. I couldn't see in the moment. Oh, not that I was scared, obviously. Yeah. Everything is fine. Don't yep. worry. Just go to the door, insert the fuse into the panel, and get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. <sighs> fine. Yo. There's so much wrong with this. I'm not going. I'm not even. I'm. You know what? I am sticking to the plan. I'm not going down there. I'm not giving them the satisfaction. Whatever garbage jump scare that they were gonna do. This is, again, this is cakewalk. Easiest thing I've ever done. Walk in the. We must look for oh. And... Uh, uh, why? What? Hey, oh, here. Are you okay? Listen to my voice. We must what? get out. Yeah, we just push this stuff. Oh. Oh. All right, op open the, open the, yeah, 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 you okay. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's behind us exactly? Oh, a guy with a gas mask. Okay. We'll go. That's fine. Listen, I, I've dealt with way scarier things than this. This is, in, in my, yeah, this is easy. This is easy peasy. Just kidding. Okay. I'm fine. You must go. go where? I can't. There's a dead body in here. There's a dead Quiet. body in here. Quiet. Can I get out of here, please? I no longer like what we are doing. No longer a fan. Can we just go. Fuck. Ooh. That was very spooky. Oh, okay, there's someone behind me. I'm not even going to bother looking at what's behind me. Because you know what? That's not important to me. What is important to me is getting out. Close the door. The bolt on the door. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pipe. You're almost. I have an idea. Close the valve. Valve. Yeah. Hurry up. I did it. Valve. Wait, we're filling this room with gas. That doesn't seem like the right. This. Oh no. Can I please go? Can I please go? What am I supposed to? Oh, that's not so bad. Look, in and out. Not even a problem. I knew we'd make it out without a single problem. Wait, was this seriously us playing this the whole time? Does he go back into the... I don't think that was us playing that. I think that was just pre-recorded footage. Because I thought I went back to the TV twice, and I don't think I saw myself at the TV twice there. Hey, um, hey, do you hear me? What? Why have you stopped? Anyway, so we need to find an old necklace. It lies somewhere in the master bedroom on the second floor. No. You only have one attempt. We can't go back if something goes wrong. So they just... Wait, we stole a diamond before, but now he said it was a necklace. But wait, there's no security box. Look for the stairs. I'm trying to figure out what the game is doing. Because we went through here once already, but it's changed. Alright, I'm gonna see what we're kind of dealing with here on the second playthrough, because I am interested. That, come on. If you walk into... Wait, this is the diamond that we stole. This looks like a fake to me. Let's move. We came for a different thing. So are we gonna put all three things on the pedestal here? Yeah, lit. This is strange. This is strange. Go there, so forget it. Yeah, that is a little bit strange, don't you think? Oh. All right, again, we're gonna. Nope. Neither one of these are the good option. Oh, good. Another videotape. Please don't be something awful. Oh. <laughs> no problem. 
No problem. Please wait. Play. A recognized artist and photographer and her son. The search continues. That's we that's the house we're in. Official statement from the police representative. In the meantime, we express our condolences to the husband of Mrs. So an artist and I don't like that. Oh no, that's where we are right now. I have some connection problems. Fuck here. off. Okay, let's look in the other rooms. No, let's not look in the other rooms. The Wait, wasn't that where we are right now? Is that where we are right now? Is that not where we are? Is that a different room? All right, so we're gonna have to wrap up this one here and move on to our next game. Ah, fuck me. <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Okay. Obviously, not scared about this at all. And listen, we do actually have to wrap up though because I gotta move on to my other games. But it's not because I'm scared. Because I have other games to attend to. Uh, so, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to save. Exit to main menu. You just continue. I just continue. Obviously, I'm going to later. Huh, just not right now. Uh, because I have other games to play. That's why. Um, so, it seems like House on the Hill, you play through it maybe four times. Maybe there's a secret ending, maybe five times. A lot of these games, when they have the, the, the path thing, they do have multiple endings. I think that game was really neat. The first one we did was short. I played through it in maybe 25 minutes. You could probably spend longer if you're investing in each little thing and not nearly as scared as I am. But it seems like there's gonna be, you know, four or five different paths and each one is gonna be a little bit different, um, but in the same house, which is neat. I'm not sure why the narrative is changing, but I'm sure they probably explain that as you go. Anyway, let's move on to our next game. All right, next up, we have a game. It's not scary, thankfully, called The Ambassador Fractured Timelines. Came out in the middle of August. It's currently $15. Has like 10 reviews, less than 10. Looks to be a standard. Looks to be a twin stick shooter. I don't know anything else about it other than that. Also, pixel graphics. Talk to Kate. Yep. I'm going to skip through the story as we always do. I'm going to get right to the gameplay so you guys can make the call. Okay, so I think we're still in the tutorial, but I know all the basics. So you have a weapon, you can left click with that. You can switch weapons with Q and you have a mage staff and it regenerates mana up here, these little green circles. Also, we have the ability to stop time. We can move around and do fancy things and our time gauge just regenerates there. Apparently I have to cross this bridge by stopping time. Yeah, because it can't, yeah, yeah, we're too fast. And the bridge can't catch up with us. I'm feeling like this is a roguelite too because of how they have this set up. Let's see how the sword, let's see how the sword does. Okay, we already took damage. There's a purple gauge in the top right and I don't know what it means. Oh God, the sword takes so long to come back. Got him. What does that purple gauge mean? Is that bad? Okay, I'm going to basically, oh, you have, You've made a mistake, friend. You guys are you guys are bringing these little tiny trinkets to a giant sword fight. So if you just get up real close, you get the sword back real fast. And you just kill everyone while time is stopped. That's great. That's a great mechanic. I like it. I also like this sword more than I like the spear because, like it said, you don't really have to aim it. I killed that guy. I don't even know that that was an enemy combatant, honestly. I just I just saw him and clicked. Am I murdering a helpless village? Am I the butcher of Blockhaven? Are you angry at me? You look a little angry at me. So that gauge is going again. I'm going to assume that you get a bonus if you clear a stage before that that gauge runs out. I'm gonna try that next stage. But it's a little bit tough to find all the enemies. Oh, stop. 
a little bit tough to find all the enemies. Oh, I think we died. Perfect. That does not stop that gauge. Jesus. Get the wand out. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. Oh, come on. You gotta really move. I'm still not, there's no way. There's no way I could have cleared this any faster. You got all these people here. I got a hammer. I, oh my God, there's so many enemies in this stage. Can I restart? Retry. Listen, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. I really hate, I really hate the fact that you can be hit when time has stopped and these people should have no control over their characters, but somehow this is, there's, there's no way. There's just no way that you could beat this in, in the time that they're giving you. That guy swinging his ax alone takes like 10 seconds. And every time you touch these guys, you take damage. Oh God. Yeah, I'm so far behind time right now. Maybe you get different abilities later. And that's how you're supposed to do this like so much faster. All right. I was having fun when I started this game. I'm having a lot less fun now. I, I don't know how you're even supposed to avoid that. I guess probably time stopping would be the smart call. You just throw them around in a big circle, I guess. I still died. Oh my Jesus. Throw, throw. Every time you touch an enemy, it doesn't make any it doesn't make any sense. Time is frozen. That should not be a thing that is allowed to happen. Stop. You do not you do not get you do not get to touch me or to look at me. Oh my god, there's so many people here. Once again, I thought that maybe I was getting close to being able to like beat a stage before that timer ran out. Nah. Where do all these enemies keep coming from? No, the big guy. I can't deal with the big guy. Please just toss the... I have no, no HP. Kill that guy. Kill that guy. And maybe that guy. Switch to this. Boom, boom, boom. Kill everyone there. Boom, 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 boom. Got him. Step on this. Shrink it. He's going to kill me. We're so fast, though. We're so fast, though. Can't hit him. Come on. Kill that guy. Are you still frozen? Got him. Oh, come on! You can't go any fucking faster than that. What is this goddamn purple meter for? I still don't even know that it's, you know, I could beat a stage and it would still be like, no, sorry. Kill him before he can teleport. Kill him before he can teleport. Kill him after he tel teleports. Go up here, go up here. There's one guy here. Okay. There's two guys there. I think I got the rest. Go through here. Get that guy, get that guy. Get that guy. Who the fuck am I, mi I'm missing the same person every time. Halfway out of time already. Get that guy. This guy teleports backwards, which is annoying. And there's about three guys here. One there. One there. One there. I did it. Did I? I don't, I don't even, I don't think I did it. I was off by like maybe a second. Anyway, we're going to wrap this one up. This is Ambassador Fractured Timelines. Cool mechanics. Kind of lacks on the gameplay execution. Um, just not super fun. You get a lot of the same enemies over and over again. And each stage feels just like, why bother? Uh, and the fact that there are no upgrades in between, just the, the same weapons that you have doesn't really make this really engaging, to be honest. And I don't understand the stupid purple hourglass, but that's fine. Last game.
All right, last up, got a game called Beat Me. Six user reviews, August 19th this year. Currently on sale for $13. We're gonna play online. Is anyone playing online? I doubt it. We're probably gonna have to play the single player. Wait, hold on, I wanna be the mage. I can be a pirate though, obviously I'm gonna do that. I don't think I can play this game because I don't have anyone else to play it with. I'm trying to trick Ashtail Fox into playing this game with me. I didn't realize I couldn't play this without another person. I thought they would have AI or something. They don't. Hey everybody, I got I tricked Ashtail Fox into joining me to play this game because I because I couldn't play it by myself. Um, I'm gonna choose the pirate. Ash, you absolutely cannot also choose the pirate. Well, I okay, hang on. I'm not sure how this game works, so we we're gonna play deathmatch. Okay. We're gonna play on. Where do you want to play, Ash? It's up to you. Uh, spooky, obviously. Spooky. We're gonna play. Oh, it's just. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me uncheck. Okay, here we go. No, 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 no. Get out of here. No, no. <laughs> Did I just block a bullet with an arrow? Uh, oh, did I win? Oh. I won. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Flipped my controls and I just walked up the edge. Oh yeah, that happened to me last time. Yeah. Oh god, no, that's. <laughs> Wait, can I shoot down? How do you? I can't get up. Oh, you can double jump. Ooh. Oh wait, what is? This is spooky. I don't like this. Is that blue thing a buff, or is that oh, gonna man, kill me? me. Ah! Oh, don't touch the ghosts. Yeah, the ghosts are bad. Ash, go touch the ghosts. Ugh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you, get, you get dumpstered. All right. Oh, okay. Shoot him in the back. Oh no. No, no. Stop. Shoot stop. In the front. In the front. Stop. Stop! Yeah. I don't like this! I don't like this! <laughs> this is trash! Fuck, oh my, what is oh this? No. That's fine, I'm gonna this stay up here where it's push. safe. No, no, it's oh, it right. rotates. Uh, this is just like Fall Guys, but worse. Excellent. I won. I didn't even I'm, fire a single shot. I'm doing Fall Guys. I. Oh, three rounds left. Oh, that was one round. I won four. I'm obviously the superior. Oh, yeah. What is this? <laughs> oh, do we have to? Oh, you I have to. You have to pull, pull me. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, this is. Ex yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> this. This is a metaphor for something. I'm certain of it. I'm into this. Get shot! Whoa! Whoa the that, axe just instant, shot, instantly no. killed you. I win again. I learned I think, something. Why are you running behind me? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! The axe! That's, oh, I got the win for that. That's, we both got that's murdered, but bullshit. But on the left, so you got murdered. No! Hard. Nope! 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 I'm just gonna make sure your end tips over and you die. Oh God! Uh, what? Your end is my end. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No! No! Yeah. No! Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Oh. Dun, bum, 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 bum. That's me. I won 15 rounds, seven kills. You want to try one more time with different characters? Yeah. I'm gonna play the wizard. Yeah. I guess I'll be rock. Right? Low health. Play on a different world, not spooky. Let's just add everything but spooky. That way we get a lot of different stuff. Uh oh. Oh, I'm coming. No, no, you're not. <laughs> no! Oh god! No! My controls were reversed and then they unreversed themselves. That's not what I need. Come down here and get I got so ruined! <laughs> so ruined! What the heck? You're gonna get hit by this. Oh, it's it's over. Oh. I got a special attack. This is probably I a whole screen explosion. Would rather. Oh. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, you just okay. For, it was like a fire nova. Yep. You stand no chance. Get away from me. You. What oh god! It, it takes low? three hits for me to hit. This is baloney. Get right in the back. Right in the back. I win. 
There's nowhere you, you have nowhere to go. Oh no! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Yes! Stop it! Stop! This is not fair! This is not fair! No! 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 Stop! Stop! You do so much damage! Boom! Ah, oh, that's. That's I'm such so bullshit. That's such bullshit. Dumpster. Wait, hold on. I took damage oh, before I even this. started. Ow. Stop. <laughs> you take so little damage. We won the exact same amount. Yeah, but I was number one. Oh, this doesn't look good. No. no yes. No. Yes. I just had to push them an inch. Oh, no, you had jumped me. Still fine. Still fine. St not fine. Not fine. Get the blender. When you hit me with that, I get I get stuck. Look like I can't I can't jump and it tracks. What the fuck is this? I can't attack either. Oh, my. This is bullshit and a half. Stop it. This is such horse shit. This is such horse shit. Wow. Stop! Stop! Get out of the god fuck! This skeleton's so broken. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I guess not. Ash, you should come down to the bottom. Yeah, 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 come down to the bottom. Oh no! 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 That was such oh, wow. bullshit. Shit. Stop. Stop. Get out of here. That, oh, get wh the blender. What am I supposed to do <laughs> when the stage is... Oh, God. This is garbage. This game is stupid. Is no one should play it. <laughs> so, hold on. So, you can play this. Yeah. You, oh, you can play this with six people. You can play this with six people. That's I see. So just imagine six people all running around the stage doing that, what Ash and I just did, right? That's, I gotta say all in all, that's a fun game. Yeah, that's, they did something great. It is a lot of fun. Uh, and like Ash said, the controls are just, just awkward enough that it makes it fun, even though they're a little bit, you know, janky, like he said. Um, honestly, that game is fun. If you have enough friends, I would play the shit out of this game with a bunch of friends online. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't think it costs too much. I said at the beginning of the video. Anyway, I, I really like this. I think if you have enough friends to get together to play it, I would say definitely go for it uh, on this one. Ash, any last thoughts? Um, no, I, it's just like general good fun. Yeah, it's honestly. just general good fun. All right. Thank you, Ash. Thank you for coming to save the Thank day when, when I couldn't play anyone with this game. <laughs> no problem, bro. All right. Bye, Ash. Bye -bye. Everyone say bye, Ash. And let's wrap up. So that was it. Those were your three games for today. Hopefully you enjoyed them. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun. Uh, the horror game, I think I need to probably finish because it doesn't seem very long. Maybe I'll do that on a stream or just in a separate video uh, you know, on its own. Um, the party game, a lot of fun. $13, slightly expensive to try and convince five of your friends to all buy it, but it was a lot of fun. But if you could just buy one copy, like, uh, well, I got that for free from the developer, but if you got one, Parsec may actually support the other five people. Ash said he had no lag when he was playing, and so that may be an option. As always, got to thank my Patreon subs. Here they are on the screen there. If you want to get involved in that, support me in what I'm doing, in my cause, in my, my mission, you can get involved there. Or join the Discord, which is linked below in the comments. More people have been joining. I'm happy to see the community is growing little by little. We're almost to 1K. That'll be big when that happens. As always, let me know what you think. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. If you have a recommendation for a game, drop it in the Discord. The first game came from one of my Discord uh, Patreons and friends, Dan Worm. So that was uh, that. was that. And if you guys have suggestions, you can always make them in the comments or in the Discord just like that. And until next time, bright, everybody.